Let us now see about the sugar cookery. Testing the doneness of the sugar mixture is performed by measuring the temperature of the boiling sugar solution which is a method of estimating the concentration of sugar in the mixture. The final sugar concentration is related to the consistency of the product when it is completely prepared. The more concentrated the sugar solution, the firmer the consistency of the finished product. If, if, the, if the sugar syrup has more of sugar and less of water, then the product that is prepared from that will be more hard or it will be more firm. This image shows the stage of the stages of sugar cookery, the various stages and the temperature at which the particular stage of sugar is used for different food product preparation. Here this table shows the stages of sugar that are used in the cookery purpose. First is the thread stage. When sugar is added to water and when it is heated at a temperature of 110 to 112 degrees centigrade or 230 to 234 degree Fahrenheit, we get a syrup and this stage is called as the thread stage. This syrup spins a 2 inch thread between thumb and the first finger. And when we continue heating that, the next stage is called as the soft ball stage. This is achieved at a temperature of 112 to 115 degrees centigrade or 234 to 240 degree Fahrenheit. At this, at this temperature, the sugar converts into a soft ball. This is used in the preparation of burfi, fondant and fudge. The syrup when it is dropped in cold water forms a ball that flattens on removal from water. The next stage is called as the firm ball state. The temperature is 118 to 120 degrees centigrade and the fat in Fahrenheit it is 244 to 248 degree Fahrenheit. The firm ball stage, the sugar at this stage is used in the preparation of bundi or laddu. The syrup when dropped into cold water forms a ball that does not flatten on removal from water. Further, when we heat, the sugar uh, enters the next stage, which is called as the hard ball stage. The temperature is 121 to 130 degrees centigrade. And in Fahrenheit, it is 250 to 256 degree Fahrenheit. The products that are prepared from uh, the sugar at this stage is the divinity and marshmallows. The syrup when dropped into very cold water, they form a ball that is hard enough to hold its shape. The next, if we further continue the heating, it enters the next stage called as the soft crack stage. The temperature is 132 to 143 degrees centigrade. In Fahrenheit, it is 270 to 290 degree Fahrenheit. And at this stage, it is used in the preparation of butterscotch, toffees and also adirasam. Syrup when dropped into very cold water, threads and they are, they are hard but they are not brittle. Next is the hard crack stage, we further heat it to a temperature of 149 to 154 degree centigrade. In Fahrenheit, it is 300 to 310 degree Fahrenheit. It is brittle uh, and it, it is used in brittles, glaze and chickies. Syrup when dropped into very cold water, threads that are hard and brittle. When we further continue heating to 160 degree centigrade, a clear liquid is formed and the temperature is 160 degrees centigrade. In Fahrenheit, it is 320. And this is used for the, uh, for the preparation of barley sugar. The sugar liquefies in this stage. When we further continue heating, it enters the next stage called as the brown liquid, where the temperature is 170 degrees centigrade and Fahrenheit, it is 338 degree Fahrenheit. This is called as the caramel. And it is used in the preparation of the peanut brittle. The liquid becomes brown in color. This image shows the various stages of the sugar cookery like the thread stage, soft ball stage, firm ball stage, soft crack stage, 
hard craft stage and the caramel stage. The next aspect in sugar cookery is the crystallization of the sugars. Sugar is composed of simple molecules such as glucose and fructose. Identical sugar molecules arrange themselves in an orderly geometric patterns repeated over and over again in a crystalline form. And this process is called as crystallization. Preparation of candies involves the process of crystallization. When sugar solution is heated at temperatures of about 102 to 180 degrees centigrade, the high heat dissolves the sugar, evaporates the water and breaks the sugar molecules resulting in a super saturated solution. At this stage, the sugar molecules are unstable and they tend to return to the previous crystalline form under ideal conditions. The size of the crystals depends upon the rate of formation of nuclei or a seed around which the crystals would grow. If there are few nuclei, the size of the crystals are large and if there are more nuclei, the size of the crystals would be small. Both the rate of crystallization and rate of nuclei formation are modified by various factors. This nuclei can be a small sugar crystal itself or it can be a small dust or dirt particle or the particle that comes along with the uh, cane sugar, uh, cane juice. There are various factors that affect the crystallization of the sugar. Nature of the crystallizing substance. Certain sugars have small crystals such as glucose, but they can form nuclei rapidly. Concentration of the solution or saturation. Sugar dissolves in water readily and more can be dissolved by increasing the temperature. Glucose and maltose are less soluble when compared to sucrose. At lower temperature, the crystal size is small and at higher temperature, the crystal size is large. Agitation or stirring. Stirring brings the supersaturated solution in contact with each crystal. Stirring aids in the production of appropriate crystalline candy. The crystals that are obtained as a result of agitation or stirring, they are uniform in size. Impurities. Impurities that are deposited in the crystal tend to reduce the growth of the crystals. Presence of glucose in the solution would interfere with the formation of crystal. Use of fat, flour, milk and nuts interfere with the crystal formation. Addition of acid. In the presence of acids such as lemon juice, vinegar and cream of tartar, they hasten the inversion of sucrose to glucose and fructose. These are the various factors that affect the crystallization of the sugars. In this session, we saw about sugar, its nutritive value, the different types of sugar or the sugar related products. We also saw about the stages in the sugar cookery and the crystallization of sugar, the factors that affect the crystallization of sugar. Thank you.